What's up, my beast? Your boy OG Gangster. Straight out of Compton. OG ENT TV. Holler at your boy. Holler back. If you come in, hit that subscription button if you haven't subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button. Because y'all already know, if you come in here, you got to like it. Oh, man. Shout out to Stupid Mac. Shout out to Taylor Productions. What's up, baby? That's my security right there. Michael, what's going on, baby? Talk your shit. Uh, yeah. Talk your shit. Yeah. Them you know pieces that boy got on, man. See them pieces, huh? Huh? All right. Okay. Keep it going. Africa's Taylor, what's up, baby? What's going on? Gripping face, what's going on, homeboy? Doc Vaughn Sessions, what's up, baby? Ron, I love love and respect, homeboy. Uh-huh. RDL, what's up? Ron Lawrence, what's going on with you, homie? Oh, how that Ribby? Ribby all right? Hey, that black K-5 right there, boy. They're real D, though. When I look at my life, I know shit I've been through. When I look at you twice, yeah. I will hold you in this bowl. I know people in my life are lying for a nigga. I'm holding you down. Yeah. Nick, what's up? Nick, say what's good? Jesus, love and respect. Same here, my homeboy. Never love and respect. Look at that rag seven, man. Clean as rag seven in the world, man. You only gonna make me see the tray on Patreon, baby. Ah. That's the only way you gonna make me see that tray from now on. Unless I'm out there in it, baby. Love, deuce, love, deuce. I can bang that to the attack the gunner with the same hat. Like I'm a dude with the same hat. Love and respect, keep always, G. For sure, love, dude. The mind bond take us as a youngster. I remember Gus Burger when I'm wrong. They stay deep, yeah. Hell yeah. Dead grass, y'all say. Much respect and salute, gangster. What's up, baby? Ain't nothing but love and respect. Y'all already know. Like Juan Kedge say, I enjoy your King of Shitty's episode. You always giving up good good. And then you mentioned my uncle Jay Clayton, rest in his feet. The show, baby, with all the dogs. I see niggas like Purple Santana, so they Willis, what's up? Dino Smart, peace and blessings, G. Glad you made it from Arizona safely. Thanks for taking us to Arizona with all the dogs, baby. I'm on fine, the block, huh? The blizz I is not. Yo, he that Patreon, baby. Tell him. Go sign up on that Patreon. Sir Uncle Fuck say, um, when you gonna bring out the Riley gang so we get the face? I'm waiting, I'm waiting on twin. Bitch, what up, man? Me and Twin coming out together, man. And when we come out, we're going to give a picnic. 
When we come out together, we give it a big dick. Uh, uh, don't miss it, baby. Uh, don't miss it. I'm trying to, you can't beat this cold weather, Kamika. It's cold as a motherfucker outside. Conrad, this is my motherfucking homeboy. What's up, Conrad? Much love and respect, my brother. Jason Campbell, salute to you, OG. Much love and, my, and respect to you. Hey, y'all hit them like buttons, man. We going up tonight. Hit them like buttons, man. Yeah. I mean, I was tapping in, you know, I'm tick tock. It don't stop. The blizz off. Get the kids off. <laughs> Never stop. Man, don't get me started. Somebody just got to say, uh, they have a queen, trailer queen. They're not out there on that concrete. They're too busy. They're too fragile. Um, I would never in my life build a low rider and don't drive. Ain't going to happen. Uh -huh. yeah, it's cold out in Cali. It's been raining today. Really supposed to rain tomorrow. Uh oh. Uh oh, light falling. What the hell going on with you, light? We gotta go. We gotta go something in this bitch. Hey, we gotta go something here, man. But you know, G ain't scared. Come on, bring it, huh? Bring it, buddy. Uh, you gonna be the first ghost to get killed. <laughs> Ain't that a bit? He gonna be the first ghost to get killed. Huh. Hello. Uh, much love and respect to you, Conrad. You already know, baby. You know we found. Without a doubt. Richard Watt checking in with G and D Riders. What's up, baby? What's really going on? Uh huh. No, I'll talk to you, boy. I talk back. Y'all know how we kick it around for damn near the first at least 20, 30 minutes. I want you know, want to hear what y'all got to say. Then we'll get to the topic. You know, it's y'all, it's y'all turn the bench. To say what you want to say on this VIS mission. Yeah. Get them like buttons when you come in this old man. <laughs> that is, you say I need that, that grand figure, that jacket, ain't hey, Ah. Uh-huh. Oh, the hell. Uh huh? She brought us for life, baby. That's right. Man, 
Mac, J.G. Ryder, Stan Day, Stupid Mac. Ain't no whole lot of G. Riders been standing up, homie. Unfortunately, Angel Jason, the salute, 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 Jason. G. Homie, just send him on. That's right, Angel. That was dope. Shabadoo, shout out for the Eagles, to all the folks. What's up, Shabadoo? Hey, that would ever now. Yeah. James K. OG thanks for salute, big homie. What's up, James? What's going on with you, baby? What's really going on? Oh, okay, okay. So good. Leon, Leon Burner say, oh, Santana had to be extra tough. Elm Street and other hoods were close on road strands, but Palm and Oak was also close. That's right. James Cass said, just got home, brother. Thought to roll me a fat joint and kick it with the real. How you living? Man, I'm living blessed, baby. Blessed by the best, and like my homie say, we going to pray for the rest. Don Levi, what's going on? Hey, she the hottest on the scene. She the hottest on the scene. She the hottest on the scene. Okay. Yeah. Left, right, left, right, left, right. I got a hundred dollar blue if you dance right. Minute open with on, show me something nice. Yeah. Hello. Hey. What's up? That's my, hey, man. That's my motherfucking home girl right there. What's up, Jay? Huh? How you doing with that mafia life? With that Main Street mafia life, little lady? Yeah. Uh-huh. Man, Jazz, say much love and respect to you. I love you, brother. Nothing but love, homeboy. Nothing but love. Jay, you know I love you. You already know. Nothing but love, baby. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Anybody can put it, you can say, say it out their mouth.
No, that's right. No, 95% ain't riding. Look at that blue thing, man. Man, come on, man. Joe Frank, frontliners, huh? Real super credit. Gotta be a frontliner or nothing, man. Look at that blue thing, though, man. Uh, another blue thing, man. Huh? James Gad say, uh, it's like the homeboys say, Santana block, it don't stop. You know we can't get enough of the real. That's right. Hey, Zeus, say, what's up, gangster? Love you. Love you, too, S.A. I'm me, dope. <laughs> I'm motherfucking homeboy, man. Yeah. Did a tornado touch down? Where the fuck at? Not in California. <laughs> Not to my knowledge. Man, we don't get no damn tornadoes. Huh. <laughs> Anthony, I always say, big homie, when you get a day, we need to uh, go holler at old boy about that business venture. All you got to do is holler at me whenever you ready. Whenever you ready. Huh? There go them rose crayons. Them rose crayons grips, boy. Them rose crayons there, yeah, boy. Yeah, whenever you, hey, whenever you ready, homie, just tell me. It's on. Yeah, it's cold. It's gonna be cold tomorrow too. It's supposed to rain even more tomorrow than it did today. Arthur Child said Detroit all day. One love to my Cali cousin. What's up, Detroit? That Motor City. Hey Arthur, check this out, man. Check this out, man. Detroit is Motor City, you know. I know y'all got some shit and some warehouses stashed in Detroit, man. I know they got some stashes, man. We need to find them stashes and get them shivies, man. <laughs> I'm serious. You saw the old, 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 old lady. She, she bothered all day, man. Hey, we're only going to tell you something on uh, 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 Solo Jose. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something, homeboy. On some real shit. With all love and all respect, Soto. That motherfucking uh logo with the with the motherfucking the wheelchair on that little blue handicap logo, that ain't got nothing to do with crippling, man. I don't know who the fuck made it. I don't know who the fuck did it. But that's but to me and, the, and, 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 and those motherfuckers, OGs and BGs, that's disrespect, homie. Ain't nothing handicapped, nothing handicapped about no crippling, homie. I would never use that sign, homie, for nothing. You know what I'm saying? On some real shit, loved one. That's some bullshit, homie. You know what I'm saying? And I would advise anybody, any crip out there, if you still banging or whatever, not to use that logo, homie, because that ain't got shit to do with us, homie. But for all we know, the police started that shit. Because ain't nobody out here started. And show sure can't nobody else started if it didn't come from California. Might be the police. I, no, I never use that logo. You know, that's some disrespect. Fuck that shit. Shame, shame, cash, real talk. In and out droves. Yeah, that, that's disrespect, homie. That wheelchair shit ain't got nothing to do with no cripping, man. To me, it's a form of disrespect all fucking day. You know, and that's real. Huh. Yeah, it ain't nothing. It ain't cripping, no. Oh, no, I know it wasn't no disrespect, Soto. I'm just letting you know, homie. You ain't got... Whoever gave you that information, that's some bullshit, homie. Don't use that shit no more, homie. It ain't got nothing to do with us, homie. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying us, because, yeah, I'm a crip. I'm always be a crip till I die. But I'm just not with the violence. Anything that got to do with violence or hurting another brother 
a sister, anybody who got to do with gang banging, I'm not with that. But that I ain't gonna never denounce her. I'm a, I'm a crypto. Huh. How I'm gonna do that? I can't do it. Uh, Jesus Primentel. Say, I remember we used to kick it on Rose Grands. You motherfucking right. Huh? Hey, that motherfucking Gus, huh? From Gus Burger. Hey, nothing but love, Solo. Big Al, what's up? Big Al, Big Al. Sophia say, uh, good evening, G. I have a call coming in right now, so I'll have to uh, come back in later and watch this live. Okay, okay, for sure, without a doubt. Big Al say, I agree, G. Yeah, that's real, homie. I don't know. A lot of motherfuckers won't say nothing, but I'm going to say something, homie. I always say something when I see that shit. That shit ain't that, that's some bullshit, homie. You know what I'm saying? And every, every, every rip that see this need to spread the word. We ain't using that shit. I'm just saying that the shit didn't come from California. And for all we know, it might have came from the police. And that, yeah, that's real. Solo Jose say, uh, much love to all y'all. Didn't mean to disrespect. No, nah, homie. You, but if you didn't know, you didn't know. That's all, homie. It wasn't, you know, what? You know, I know you wasn't trying to disrespect nobody on purpose, loved one. You know what I'm saying? It's all good, homie. Don't even worry about it. Sam Scad says, what's your favorite colors to, ha to have on a low low? My candy magenta I got. You know what I'm saying? The Mercedes light blue, the Mercedes dark blue and black and yellow. They're my, they're my favorite colors. The magenta, black, yellow, and the two blues. Get my colors right there. QP, what's up, baby? Say, you cold as hell on QP. You need one of these OG hoodies, huh? <laughs> you need one of you need one of these OG hoodies to warm you up, home boy. I got you though, huh? I got you. Damn, it's crazy, man. Saturday, I gotta go to two fucking funerals, man, and both of them is at the same fucking time. Ain't that crazy? I'm gonna have to be in and out, man. Hey, so who said, remember Long Beach? Oh, yeah. Think that's them, that's them, that's them, them Rose Grand Scripping, man. Ah, yeah. So, Phil said, I did hit the like button, but I have to go go uh, get back to my, my call. Yeah, that's right. Without a doubt. We know you, we know you hit the button. Huh? Bodie say, oh, OG, how do you under the hoodie, hoodie under the penalty? Had me, had me good, good today, G. Yeah. Hell yeah, that hoodie under the penalty had you good. That's right. But yeah, we're gonna we gonna get to this rose crayon scripting, man. Huh? Yeah, the only crips in Compton on Rose Crayons, man. We got like Seven blood hoods on Rose Crane. We got Campanella Park. We, we know what I'm saying? We got Tree Top. Uh, we, we got West Side Pie Rule. We got Fruit Town Pie Rule. We got Cedar Block. We got Lamb Street. We got Lutus Park. And we got the Mall. Hello. And, and then we just got Santana. <laughs> then, then we just got the Big Banana, baby. Huh? Santana with the big banana. We ain't playing. Yeah. It don't stop. Huh? To the last drop. Tick, tick, motherfucking top. The block. Huh? That's what I'm talking about. James Cass said, much love and respect to CP and B Corp. It ain't nothing but a black thing without a doubt. It ain't nothing but a black thing now. You know, for me, you know, everybody don't feel the way we feel, but uh, 
You know what I'm saying? Now it ain't nothing but a black thing, man. Lewis Brooks said, God bless everyone and family. Tony Soprano say, uh, like hood and cross, like uh like hood and cross Atlantic. I'm let you shine like hood. Lime hood, is that what you're saying? Yeah, lime hood, okay, yeah, like lime hood and cross Atlantic. Yeah. Arthur Child say, is twin 63 finished yet? Your car looking amazing. Now, twin like 95%. He close. He damn sure close. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Santana Block, and we had to see a different kind of monster, man. Because you know what I'm saying? We know that uh, they had hello, had, they had hit us from every neighborhood on Rose Square. They had some, you know, they had some down ass niggas from every motherfucking pyro set on Rose Square, though. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? We had to, man, we had to be tough, homie. And we standing out, hanging out on, man. We hung out on Rosecrans, man. Right there at Brownish Liquor Store in Gus Tuck at the hamburger stand. We had a saying, you had to be tough to eat at Gus. But I'll tell you some boy, them motherfuckers, I still ain't had a hamburger special like them motherfuckers made, man. Man, them motherfuckers had the best hamburger specials in the world, man. Uh, Dollar ninety nine hamburger special, burger fries and the soda. God damn it, man! That was a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? And that's real. What up, everybody? Much love, Big Frank the Gun. What's up, man? Peter Arnold say how they push that rose crayons in the day. How they push that road, man? Motherfuckers knew them. If you're coming up rose crayons, once you cross Alameda. Going east, you better be ready. You better be ready, yo. You better try to time that light on Santa Fe. Huh? Or you better be ready to run some lights, huh? You know what I'm saying? And that's real. But we used to be right there at the hamburger saying, boy, <laughs> and anything coming up to our bros, man, it was on, man. Anything we seen with red or any pot rules that we noticed or knew who they was, homie. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Man, motherfuckers talking about Rosecrans, homie. We hung on Rosecrans, homie. For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? We pull up, lay them motherfucking cars, lay them put low riders in in the Gus Tough parking lot. Or even earlier than that, back in the day, we pull up on our motherfucking bikes and lean our bikes against that motherfucking uh, burger stand, and we hang out with that motherfucker all day, homie. You know what I'm saying? And it's been episodes like a motherfucker, you know? We done made motherfuckers run lights, motherfuckers crash their cars, get out, leave their cars, you know what I'm saying? Some motherfuckers done got blasted on. Oh, man, motherfuckers knew on When you come across Alameda, and between Alameda and Santa Fe, <laughs> motherfucker better be on 1,000, because, hey, we wasn't playing, man. You know, we was not playing on. I remember one time we was uh me and the homies, we was uh walking, we was on our way to motherfucking uh because see the dumb moves, they had come up, they'd creep up Palmer, they'd come up uh Santa Fe, I mean uh, uh up Compton Boulevard. Some of them even come on in, come up in. Because I'd have seen a few of them come up in a lot of times. Because I live right on Elm, homie. Elm and Rose, homie. You know what I'm saying? And I done seen motherfuckers tear their cars up because it's a dip. Right down on Elm and Rose, it's a motherfucking dip. And I done seen motherfuckers tear their shit up trying to get up out of there. You know what I'm saying? You know, but we just, we just going up motherfucking, going up uh, Lewis Brooks and hey, gang, what, uh, what the, but the paint spot on Rose Crans across from the TEG hot dog spot. Paint spot on Rose Crans. Gee, I don't, I don't know no paint spot on Rose Crans. Unless it's down in the, in, in the Pyro neighborhood or something. And I, I, you know what I'm saying? I really, I don't keep up with what's, what, what, what's opening up or what's been open. You know what I'm saying? Like that no more. Hey, 
Jesus put him in tell say it don't stop way down here in this enough. That's right. This the wifey. What's up, baby? Yep. It was raining hard. Uh, Jalen and Bill say any bar rules that had low riders, yeah, they had low riders, man. They had low riders on West Side Power Rule. Oh um, man, saying the uh, shit, Derek Burks and and motherfucking uh PC and Ron and you know what I'm saying and Momo and from Fruit Town all had, but yeah, my man, yeah, yeah, they had, uh, yeah, she, yeah, bar rules, a stellar box from from Luda's Park. Yeah, yeah, it's some, yeah, it's some gang of power rooms has some low rock. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But we was walking up motherfucking uh, Willow on our way to Marathon, because that's another hangout. We used to hang out on Compton Boulevard, too, at the Marathon Burgers. They knew that was our burger stand, just like a motherfucking new Gus was our burger stand. We walking up, we get the Palmer. We see a funeral, funeral coming by. All we see is red. Motherfuckers hanging all out the car, throwing up red. And I'm like, oh, my, throwing up their red rags. And I'm like, man, you know, we like, nigga, fuck y'all and fuck whoever dead. And, <laughs> you know, back then, that's how it was, huh? You know what I'm saying? So we we, we like this. He's like, you know what, I'm? It ain't but two, three ways these motherfuckers going to get home. You know what I'm saying? Up Rosecrans or up Compton Boulevard, the more likely they're going to come up Rosecrans. So after we leave the burger stand, we're going to go to Rosecrans and hang out. And if they come up Rosecrans, it's crap. Man. Huh? <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Tell me, homie. I, don't, I ain't even say what hood it was, but it was a hood in L.A. You know what I'm saying? A known the known blood in LA. Hmm. Man, them motherfuckers. Well, we go to the uh, marathon, we kicking it up there, we get some. So we know about how long they're going to be at the cemetery. Because they're on their way to the cemetery right there on Bullets. You know what I'm saying? On Bullets Road. So we went to marathon, I got some food and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, right back then, I had a spot right there on Willow. So we wasn't nothing but a block from Marathon this way and, a, and a, a block and a half from Marathon going south and a block and a half from from uh, 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 Gus Burgers going north. You know, so we in the middle of both burger stands and both of these is our burger stand. So we go get the food, you know what I'm saying? Then we go back we, and we up in motherfucking uh, at Gus chilling. We kicking it. Everybody, you know, motherfuckers up there. Huh. Some moths, some motherfuckers spins out or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we chilling. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Look what happened. <laughs> All these motherfuckers come back up Rose Cran. Why they come back up Rose Cran, though? Somebody tell me that, man. Man, I don't know who it was, but somebody. See, we seen these motherfuckers on, and they seen us. We, we, we black out the game, black rags, blue rags. Man, we like, man, one of the homies jumped on the motorcycle home, licked that motherfucking ass up, man. You know what I'm saying? And then licked that motherfucking ass up. I don't remember who the fuck it was that jumped on that motorcycle, but he licked that motherfucking ass up, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, Rose Queens wasn't no joke, man. You know what I'm saying? There you go. You know, and that's just like when you are, uh, when you going up Rose Queens uh, by Fruit Town. You ain't got trying to get caught in that stoplight in front of their liquor store. <laughs> I remember one time, I'm coming up Rose Queens, going, you, I, we, gonna, we stayed on Rose Queens, we ain't give a fuck. It was what it was, whatever was going to happen was going to happen. Whatever we was gonna do, we was gonna do. I'm, I'm in my rag folk. 
I got my motherfucking blue rag tied around my head. Oh man, we don't want some gangster shit on. I got my mom got a white rag fold with blue, blue interior on laces. I got my blue rag tied around my motherfucking head. I got the top down. I got the motherfucking oldies banging. I'm dipping like a motherfucker. I'm coming up Rosecrans. You know what I'm saying? I get caught right at that fucking light, right in front of the liquor store on this side, the gas station on that side. And I see like six, seven motherfucking ball uh, Fruit Town Pyro standing in front of the gas station. You know what I'm saying? But you know me. I'm here. I'm spelled. I, I don't mean I ain't tripping. I ain't finna do no dumb shit out my car, but I'm gonna survive if I got to do what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? I'm a man. I pull up to the motherfucking light. I'm at the light. I could have ran the light. Wasn't no cars in front of me. But I'm like, man, fuck this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? We back then we had that attitude, like nigga, we ain't scared. You know what I'm saying? They looking at me. I can see motherfuckers holler. That's that nigga gangster. Woo, 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 woo. I'm just looking. I ain't, I ain't tripping. I'm just looking at them. First, I made sure there wasn't nothing on my motherfucking right side of the gas station. Because if these motherfuckers there too, wasn't nobody over there. So I focused on these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I got I got a motherfucking uh, a 380. Yeah, I got a 380 right sitting right in my lap. You know what I'm saying? This is before the dope. I think this had to be like in 80. This is before we started selling crack and all that. We're still selling weed and PCP. I got a 380 in my hand on my lap, right? You know what I'm saying? They get the house. No, fuck Santana. You know, I'm like, nigga, fuck y'all, nigga. <laughs> fuck y'all, fuck y'all. You know, fuck, fuck fruit town. They like, fuck Santana. I'm like, whatever. They start walking up. They start walking towards me, right? I'm just smiling. You know what I'm saying? Because if motherfuckers make any funny moves, I'm, I'm gunning and I'm, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, they, they, they walking and talking, right? I pulled that motherfucking pistol out, man. Half of them broke. The rest of them was froze. They ain't know what the fuck to do. I just shook my head. I told them, nigga, this ain't the day, boy. Don't, 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 day. This ain't your day, nigga. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying? They, they bagged up. You know what I'm saying? They like, damn. They should have knew I was stuffed, though. I'm stuffed right at the light and I could have ran it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to blast these niggas in my car, but if I didn't have no choice, then that's what I was going to do. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like I said, half of them ran, you know, in the liquor store. The other ones just bagged the fuck up, you know? I'm like, man, I dropped the ass, locked the front up, <laughs> threw that motherfucking crib sign up on me, and I just dipped on up out that bitch. Man, man, we was gangsters, though. You know what I'm saying? We was gangsters, man, on some real shit. You know, because I mean, I'm man. When I was coming up, I always stayed strapped, don't I? Everywhere I fucking went, I had a pistol, man. You know, that's how I know where, like a lot of these gangbangers would be on there telling their stories about, oh, 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 how I got caught here and I got caught there and I got caught here. And that shit can never happen to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm twin, I'm under none of us, don't I? But we stayed strapped. If you gang banging, homie, you got to have a strap, man. You know, you ain't got you ain't banging if you ain't got your own. Like a motherfucker comes, hey, girl, let me use your gun. Let me use my gun. You might as well tell me to give you my gun, nigga, because after you use it, I don't want it back. No, you can't use my gun. You got man, you banging, you got to have your own gun, homie. I didn't always have my own shit from day one, homie. You know what I'm saying? But when I first started gangbanging, I had my own motherfucking gun, huh? You know? It's a must. You got to have that motherfucker, man. You know? Juju, <laughs> Juju say, I was there with you. <laughs> That's right. With your no job and that. This motherfucker, man. Hey, Zeus. Primentel. Man, this motherfucker cannot drive, man. I swear to God, this nigga can't drive, man. I got a clean ass, a uh, turquoise blue, hard top four, blue interior, clean as fuck on hub capsule 20s. I hadn't even put the rims on it yet. Sounds blasting. Man, we coming up motherfucking Compton Boulevard. 
I bust a left on rolls, homie. We going down by the park. I slow down. Man, this motherfucking me go run right into the back of me, man. Total the back of my shit out, man. Yeah, motherfucker, you. <laughs> this motherfucker cannot drive, man. Told my foe up. You know what I'm saying? But I had another one a week later, but still. Damn it, man. <laughs> James Cash said handles the business like a real G one. That's right. Lewis Brooks say, y'all see how gangster was back in his day. Some stuff he can't even bring up. Trust me. Them tanners ain't nothing at all to be played with. I remember the club and VFW. Man, you man. Y'all yeah, can't come on in and just tell, tell a whole lot of stories, huh? Because that's my stories. Most of my stories can't even be told. You know what I'm saying? You got these niggas with these 8 million stories on them. Motherfuckers get caught slipping here, caught slipping there, caught. Shit, nigga, you be dead where I'm from. If you get caught slipping all them times on me, but you know about power rules and Compton, I would have been dead. You can't be caught slipping like that. I mean, that's why I'm like, God damn, boy. Huh. I, I can't do it, man. You see it. Leon Burner say you have to pack pack your heat if you was if you if you want to survive. It's not an, an option back back then for real. No, it wasn't no option on me. You know what I'm saying? Carrying a pistol was like putting my pants on on. That'd be like me leaving my house without no pants. You know what I'm saying? That's real, homie. You know? And that's that's real like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, me, shit, me and my no man, man, we used to, man, we used to roll too. We used to roll like a motherfucker. When I had that white rag foe, foe was clean as a board of hell, man. And I guess I can man, I came up on the white rag foe, man. I traded a motherfucking bug for it, homie. It was just my time to get it, I guess, homie. You know what I'm saying? It was just my time to get it, man. I'm telling you, man, me and look, me, me and Mondo homie. Back then we got the perms, homie. I know y'all laughing. Yeah, I had a perm, nigga. <laughs> back then we had the perms, homie. You know what I'm saying? I got the big blue rollers in my shit. Mondo got the big blue rollers in this shit. Back then I was fucking with Gigi. You know what I'm saying? Over there from where we lived over there in West Side Piru. Used to be pudding girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? I had her motherfucking ass with the big blue rollers, with the with the blue rags out of, Oh man, let me tell you how I met her, man. <clears throat> I met her at the motherfucking uh, World on Wheel skating ring, you know? Well, actually, I didn't meet her there. She was there with her sisters and shit, but I didn't meet her there. She saw me. She spoke. She she uh, uh spotted me out, homie. But when we left with y'all. The skating ring, we used to always go to New Way Market by Winter by uh, Winters right there on 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 uh, Laundry and Long Beach Boulevard. So I'm chilling, man. I'm kicking it, and her sister, little sister, come up to me like, "Ah, oh, your name gangster." I'm like, "Yeah, why? Wow, what's up?" But she was young. I'm like, "What you what you talking about?" You know what I'm saying? Because I think she probably was like 14 or 15, 14, something like that. She said, oh, my sister, my sister like you. She want to talk to you. Woo, woo, woo. I'm like, who is your sister? Then I saw her sister. I'm like, God damn, thin waist. Hat. Man, like that, homie. Long ass hair way down here, mixed with Mexican and black. I'm like, man, what's happening? I bam, woo, woo, woo. We get, I get at her and shit. Woo, we go to the pad. She follow me to the pad. You know what I'm saying? And uh, she get in the car with me, and I don't know why Twin and Turtle popped up. <laughs> Cockhounds, they pop up in my mom, in front of my mom's house. They stand across the street. I'm like, oh, what's up? Woo, woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? They over there whispering and talking. You know what I'm saying? I take man, me and baby about to roll out. 
I'm I get in the car, right? Nigga turtle holler out. Don't kiss her, cuz they get to giggling. He he he, you know what that means. Oh, she must do what you know, woo woo. I mean, you know, back then too. I'm like, man, fuck it. I'm gone. So you know, I went and um uh, I picked up while she got in the car and I took her to the pad. You know, she lived in Centerview in Carson over there where them syllabus center view by rules at. You know what I'm saying? I ain't I wasn't tripping, I ain't give a fuck. I was when I was in my motherfucking folk, I took her right over there and dropped her off. She was uh, at the pad, you know what I'm saying, and told her, you know, to holler at me the next day. So what I did, you know what I'm saying, T and them, I know where they was going. They was going to Linwood on Palm and Oak. We was kicking it on Palm and Oak over there, tough as a motherfucker. Every, we all of us had women over there in Palm and Oak. But I ain't give a damn. I, I went and picked up another little badass bro, right? Yeah, all team them out there on Palm and Oak kicking it, you know what I'm saying? I pull up with another bad bro, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm team them looking in the car, but they didn't know who she was. I'm like, yeah, nigga, don't stop, nigga, the block, nigga. The block, get the cop. That's what we used to say back in the day, nigga. The block, get the cop, nigga, don't stop. Huh? Tick, tick, motherfucker, top. We on Palm and like a motherfucker, right? Team, my team twin looking, right? I say, nigga, I'm gone, nigga. I'll be at the left. You know what I'm saying? The letter is a motel spelled back. If you write motel down, then you write it backwards, it, it, it say letter. So I, that's what we used to say. Nigga, I'm going to be at the letter, fool. You know what I'm saying? Let them hit. I'm gone. You know, I just did that just to piss them off because of the bullshit they pulled on me. You know what I'm saying? But the next day, I'm chilling at the pad, man. I hear a knock at the door, man. I go to the door, right? I open the door and bam, bust my motherfucking eye. This motherfucking bro got all big, big, because she had long ass hair. She had the big, big, big rollers in her hair. She got big, bright, red ass rollers in her motherfucking hair, homie. I looked, I said, wait a minute, man. I don't know who the fuck you think I am, but you can't fuck with me like that. I don't play that shit. You got to get rid of that shit. Go home. Take that shit out, and if you come back, you come back. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck out five years. You ain't, I ain't, you can't get, bitch, that's disrespect. I was mad as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? They got the last nigga, you know what happened. All big blue rollers with blue rag, nigga. Booyah! <laughs> man, back in the day was a motherfucker, man. But back, back to Rose Crans, um, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, we should kick it out. We should kick it out that motherfucker all motherfucking day, man. You know what I'm saying? That's real. You know what I'm saying? If we wasn't on Rose Queens, we was on Compton Boulevard, Boulevard at Marathons, man. You know what I'm saying? If we wasn't there, we was at, we was at Turtle Pad. If we wasn't there, we was down at, at the shack at Killer Wayne Pad or even motherfucking uh, Bad Happy Rabbit Pad. You know what I'm saying? But we definitely hung on Rose Queens, homie. And everything came through that motherfucker every day. They knew him. They could. They had to respect it, homie. You know what I'm saying? They had to. That's just like us. We wasn't finna get caught on the other end of Rose Grands on by on bullets and by right by Luda's Park. I had that light right there in front of Luda's Park at that liquor store right there on, on Long Beach. I mean on Rose Grands right past book. We all we knew. You know, we ain't had to, we wasn't really having no no reason to even go that way anyway. You know what I'm saying? And we most of the time when we was going somewhere, we was going west. You know what I'm saying? Because we was headed to the 110 freeway. Wasn't no motherfucking uh, 105 and none of that shit, man. You know, we had to go straight to that motherfucking 110 of Rose Grand, baby. You know, and uh shit, it is it was what it was. We used to dip up that motherfucker eight, nine cars deep. You know what I'm saying? But we was, well, believe me, we was heated. We wasn't no fool. Every time we go roll out to the skating ring on Sunday night, you know what I'm saying? When we go to World on Wheels, or we was headed out to the motherfucking uh, valley, you know what I'm saying, in Reseda, you know, we'd be seven, eight, nine, ten cars deep. Only three, four homies in every fucking car, man. We just rolling straight up road strands to the freeway. You know what I'm saying? Well, like I say, when they say about banging on rose crayons, nigga, we was banging on rose crayons, homie. You know what I'm saying? 
we is banging on rose grams for real, homie. You know what I'm saying? And that's real. Man, that shit was crazy. I, man, it's crazy now, but back then, I loved that shit back then, homie. You know what I'm saying? It was like adrenaline rush. Out. Like, nigga, let's go. I hope, I wish a nigga, I wish a nigga would. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But hey, but I'm gonna tell you though, they tried a few times. That the motherfucker ain't like there was no punk. I'm not saying they was no punk. You know, you ain't, they got they got gangsters and killers from every neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? So you know, a motherfucker ain't never count them out. None of them. You know what I'm saying? Because when we went up Rose Friends, we had to go by Fruit Town, Tree Top, Cedar Block, West Side, and Campanella Park. You know what I'm saying? And every one of them neighborhoods had killers in them. Every one of them. It just so happened, homie, we just didn't give a fuck. For real, for real. We just, you know, I'm going to tell you, homie, we just gangsters, homie. We just crazy, though. Looking back now, man, we just crazy, man. We just crazy, homie. We just crazy as fuck. We just didn't care about I didn't really didn't give a fuck, man. Look, man, I have, I'm going to Compton High. I got my hard top tray, a permanent upgrade at the bottom, permanent black top, uh, uh, cut in the front with, with 20s and hubcaps on that bitch, eight track under dash in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I had a girlfriend. Well, I had a lot of girlfriends, <laughs> but this particular one named Rhonda, she was in the wood class. And you know how we got them plaques in the window? She made me a plaque. A wooden plaque shellacked out, clean, that said baby gangster. And I had that motherfucker in the back of my motherfucking window like it was a car club plaque, homie. I was just straight letting the motherfucker know who I was. I didn't give a fuck. I got it. I bust this little bro named Lisa. You know what I'm saying? She lived in the mob and her brother was a pyro. You know, her brother was named Fox. He was a pyro. I used to pull up to their bed home, right in the mob home, in my tray, black khaki suit, blue khaki suit, Santana block on the back of the back shirt, black rag or blue rag hanging with a deuce five or 32 in my hand. But that didn't mean shit. If they, if they, if they really was like, let's get this money, all they had to do was wait for me to leave. Oh, man, God just been with me, home Because I done did some crazy shit that I shouldn't have been doing and then the motherfucker could have filled my cap, home, But God was with me all them times, man. You know? I ain't had no business all oh, right in the, in the middle of the fucking mob, homie. By myself, pulling up, parking in front of her house, getting out, going in her house. Man, I told you we was gangsters, homie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bullshit ain't nothing. <laughs> we was gangsters like a motherfucker, man. Richard Wise said, Gangster giving up some snippets from his book. <laughs> OG, get them books. It's, it's hard to go to sleep when you start reading them. I'm telling you, man, everything y'all want to really know is in that book, my autobiography, homie. The first half of the first half of my life is like a, a 400 or some pages, man. I'm telling you, that some talk that I live it, that's some real shit, man. That's some real shit. Everything I'm saying is in that book. In that motherfucking book, man. You know, that's real. Yeah, Marcus 118 said RDL on Caleb. Look exactly like we talked about. Big homie dad says, what's the most blood you ever Seen at one time. Mm. I've seen the whole, I've seen a lot of them motherfuckers at the funk festival. Well, it was more Crips. It was where it was more Crips, especially back then. But I've seen a lot of them at the funk festival. I've seen a lot of them at funeral. That would be the funk festival funeral, the, the most out of scene. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Sir Uncle Buck say, I think gangster been cripping on that new low rider. A big camping, been camping on that new low rider. Yeah, that new low rider there, baby. Y'all see me in that motherfucker. I was camping. That's my baby. But well, she gonna be, she coming out. She gonna be out there, man. That's real. Mm. Yeah, hey, man. You know what I'm saying? It was, uh, I got a picture, man. Matter of fact, I got to get that picture. I'm going to post it. I think I done posted it before on my Instagram. If anybody ain't following me on Instagram, go to my Instagram. It's right there. It's uh, OG Entertainment underscore CEO. It's a picture of me, Turtle, Nubop, Mondo, Joe Naked, uh, Keith Ray, Lee, it's about seven, eight of us on this picture, right on Rosecrans, right, right there on Rosecrans next to the hamburger stand. You know, I'm holding a black rag, somebody holding another end. I got on a black and gray penalty. Got my little nap from that, my little fro out. <laughs> oh, man. We was, got my black rag in my pocket. Man, we was gangsters, on. Huh? <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. So the Jose say, uh, were you ever uh where was I ever what? Oh, locked up with any Latino or Mexican Crips? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean locked up with some with some Mexican Crips, huh? You know what I'm saying? The Mexicans didn't like it, but whenever wherever, whenever, wherever I was at, nigga, if he go, we all go, nigga. My home, this motherfucking crip ain't going nowhere. If he go, that motherfucking them black Mexicans y'all got over there that call themselves in y'all gang, them black Mexicans got to get the fuck up out of here too. Man, we was gangsters, huh? Play that bullshit. You got a lot of niggas that won't speak up and leave motherfuckers out, out there to these wolves. But I ain't never like that, nigga. If you was claiming crib, homie, and you was 1,000, you know what I'm saying? Man, whatever they do to you, they got to do to me. We in jail. Nigga, I don't care if you ain't from Compton. I don't care where you from. Nigga, you a crip, you a crip. That's how I care, the OG way, ho. I don't care, like, you know, these, uh-oh, he ain't from my hood. He ain't my homie. Nigga, he a crip, he my homie. You know? Hey, I'm saying, who was the first crip from Compton? And do you think the crips were rushed? Eric Holder, what well, damn, I hear that rain when he hit the yard. You know, it's like, it depends on me. You know what I'm saying? For me, I wouldn't rush him on if he's telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? Because if a motherfucker call you a snitch on me, you got to do something. You know what I'm saying? That's just where I come from. You know? Now, if Nip called a man a snitch like that, homie, Nip should have been ready to smoke it. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't put a motherfucker out there and call a motherfucker no snitch if the motherfucker ain't no snitch. And even if he is a snitch, you got to be ready to do something. Because you got some snitches that's killers. You know? I know a whole lot of killers that started snitching. So I don't know, it depends on where you go, homie. You know? Yeah, but yeah, but uh Jose, yeah, I've been locked up with some uh with some uh Mexican Crips, yeah. I ain't give a damn about the ones, you know what I'm saying, that was down moves because back then it wasn't my business. Why would I care? You know? But you yeah, but the Mexicans they be trying to come with that bullshit, hey home, she got the lead. Nigga, my people ain't got to leave shit. If we leave shit, everybody leaving. Y'all leaving, we leaving, everybody leaving, man. <laughs> Take that weak ass shit somewhere else. Go, okay, go tell all them little three black Mexicans over there that think they Mexicans and black boys y'all recruited. They got to get the fuck on too. 
Oh, they don't want that. Huh. Man, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on. We ain't we ain't doing that. Hey, and who was the first Crip from Compton? And do you think the Crips will rush Eric Holder when he hits the yard? Oh yeah. The first Crip from Compton. I know uh Mac Thomas brought Crip in the Compton. You know what I'm saying? But I don't I don't know who was the first Crip because the Carver Parks was Crip, so Carver Park Crips, they I think they the oldest Crip neighborhood in Compton. You know what I'm saying? And that's real. I think Carver Park is the oldest Crip neighborhood in Compton. So I don't know exactly who was the first Crip. You know, I know Mac Thomas brought Crip in Compton, but I think Carver Park might have been Cripping already. So I, I don't know, man. You know, I do not know. I ain't gonna even fake it like I know. I only can say what I know, homie. I ain't gonna sit up here and lie to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like a lot of other motherfuckers that's on this internet. Be doing all that line to kick it. Either you gonna you roll with me or you ain't gonna roll with me. I ain't gonna lie to get no motherfucking views or to get no motherfucking subscriptions, you know. Lewis Brooks said, hey gangster, Ducks car wash on Long Beach was a crib or a blood. I never knew just that. Now what I think Duck was partial to the bloods, but shit, that was my spot. There was, there was, I used to take three, four of my cars up there at Ducks at one time to get them washed. And sit right there and get them washed. And that's right, that's right there in Elm Street neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? That's Elm Street. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Duck, man, I hope Duck get out there, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah, Duck locked up. Shit, I think Duck been locked up about 20, 23, 24 years already. No, longer than that. Man, yeah, about 23, 24, yeah. You know, Swan said, bro, I'm going to come to you as soon as I get a little better. God speed. I mean, God is good. Man, God is good all the time, brother. It's all good. You know that, Dino. Charlie Levi said, Punchy said, you had like 50 cars in your backyard. That was a funny-ass interview. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was all good. Yeah, all good. Yeah, but do say probably at the uh, Compton Parade, that's where I seen the most, but it was more Crips from all over. Even Big Tookie, man, that Compton Parade. I'm, we're going to talk about that Compton Parade. <laughs> we're going to talk about that Compton Parade in another episode. Yeah. Man, that Compton Parade wasn't no joke, man. I remember, I ain't going to even get started. We're going to talk about it. James Marquis said, uh, what's a good insurance to use for low riders? I got State Farm. Huh? State Farm is good. All State is good. Farmers is good. You know, all three of them is good. State Farm, Farmers, and All State. So we say, uh, did you ever have anybody come up to your appraisal shop or hydraulic shop tripping? Aha! Come up there tripping? Hell, motherfucker, no, man, we don't play that shit, man. But I, there is one episode, though. You know what I'm saying? They didn't come up to that motherfucker. You know? The motherfucking, uh, the Migos tried some motherfucking uh, Paragon tried to do a motherfucking drive-by in my motherfucking uh, pager shop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they tried to do a drive-by and I was hot as a motherfucker, homie. Because my son was in there and we on my shop right there on Long Beach Boulevard, homie. And my son was in there too. Oh, man, you, you already know the deal. No? Huh? You know the deal. Hello, world. You know the deal. Yeah, that's the only episode, though. Man, nobody never just came up there trying to trip. Their ass would have been fucked off. No, hell no. Y'all hit them like buttons, baby. Big, 
So big homie dad says, how they throwing up the L saying for Santana versus throwing up that. What the fuck? What L? We don't throw up no motherfucking L. <laughs> we throw the ass up. What you talking about the L? Ain't no one. Who threw what the fuck? What the hell, where the hell did the L come from? Ain't no L got nothing to do with Santana. I don't know what that, you might have seen a nigga doing this, throwing a crib sign up and it looked like L. That's the closest I can get to that. But that ain't got nothing to do with the block. <clears throat> Margaret said Gregory Dully almost got capped a few times though. Jay Bourne said how they put him down. I think I think Putin just died, man. I know that that broad Jewel from Death Row, she the one that put him in the wheelchair. But yeah, I think I think Putin just died. So little Jose say uh, much love to the channel. Well, much love to you, my brother. You already know it don't stop, homie. Nothing but love and respect over here, baby. I tell anybody, man, we can talk, whatever, long man. You can voice your opinion, whatever you got to say, as long, long as everybody be respectful. Homie. That's all. We don't got to agree. A whole lot of shit we ain't got to agree on. And that's fine. And now, you know, I ain't going to kick you off the channel because you don't agree. <laughs> I ain't like them other motherfuckers, though. <laughs> See ya. Jay Foreign say, what question would you ask Tookie if you could? Shit, ain't, ain't no question I need to ask Tookie. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no question I need to ask Tookie. Kelly Boy, what it do, baby? Fresh and Prosper, what's up, baby? Salute G, salute G Riders. That's right, homeboy. You know, but yeah, you know, Tookie was right there in Compton, right by my hood, right there on Pine, Santa Fe and Pine, that Bob Simmons boys home. He used to run the red out. You know what I'm saying? But uh, at the end of the day, that was a big homie, but the nigga, big, big Tookie didn't run, didn't run Compton or nothing like that. Matt Thomas had more influence than, than big Tookie in Compton. Mark, you say, just don't come on here with nonsense. That's right, baby. Yeah. So rest in peace, Big Took, man. May Big Pete, may Big Took, rest in peace. Rest in peace to all the fallen, fallen comrades, homie. And it's a whole fucking lot of them, man. I got over 100 of them just from my neighborhood, homie. <laughs> That's just my hood. I ain't talking about all... All the motherfucking cripples that I, I fuck with all cripples. <laughs> I mean, I gotta go look on. I gotta go to motherfucking two funerals Saturday. And both of them start at the same time. Oh my god. Oh. That's crazy. Both of them started at the same time. Yeah, rest in peace, it's old GT. Boy, Tiz Erdo, baby. My mentor, my homeboy, my loved one. And T, the one gave me my name. Huh. So I'll leave out and say, come and raise all the way to Hawthorne. See, I wish. That'd be a long ass walk. Marquis Bank Road, salute OG ENT. Y'all that ain't subscribed, man, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, baby.
know him and say that you know uh, Craig Munson. I ain't know him personally, but I know who he was. Of course, I didn't seen him, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't know him personally. Yeah, man, yeah, Spody is so many gone. It's crazy, man. Black genocide for real. Straight black genocide, huh? You know what I'm saying? But we didn't know no motherfucking better. We didn't know what the fuck we was doing, but we know better now. So this shit shouldn't be happening now, huh? This shit should not be happening in 2023 because we all know better, man. We all know better. This should not be happening. Brothers should not be killing brothers, homie, over color, over gang sign, over neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, over street. No, none of that shit, man. None of it. You know what I'm saying? What is it, your boy? I was young on there, boy, leaning against that motherfucker. <laughs> boy, hey. The boy done been around and been through some shit, man. But yeah, I joined my car club. I started low riding in 78. I think I, I started riding with him. I started riding with him in 79. Uh, yeah, man. Well, I was up at Compton High. I was a young nigga up at Compton High with a 63, baby. Pulling up in that motherfucker, laying by the lunch area, huh? He couldn't tell me shit, man. Ha <laughs> ha, man. Couldn't tell me shit, man. Jay Porn said, "If you could do it all over, all over, would you be crip? Be a crip? If I could live my life all over again, homie. No, nah. on some real shit." If I could do it all over again, no. You know what I'm saying? Too much bullshit involved, man. Hurt too many people, man. No, I, I wouldn't do it. Man, I done lost 26 years of my life, homie. Huh? Just imagine you losing 26 years of your life, homie. Huh? That's 26 years you can't even account for, man, because you was in a motherfucking cell. 26 years, man. Come on, man. No, I wouldn't do it, huh? If I could do it all over, would I sell dope again? I wouldn't do it, homie, because I ain't that evil. I ain't that selfish, homie. Knowing what I know now, how it's going to affect us, affect our community, affect our people, hell no, I wouldn't do it. You got some niggas that don't give a fuck. They'll do it. For me, I won't do it, homie. I won't do it. I would definitely not do it. Yeah, yeah, Majestic started in 73. Little blue, uh, Lil John sort of majestic in 73. Marvin said he lost so many that were solid and had heart. I had one homie that would walk everywhere, crib down. Yeah, he motherfucking right. Huh? Everywhere I seen that nigga, he was walking. I see the nigga all the way in LA walking. Blew out the game. And then nigga used to love the way them motherfuckers, that blue, that dark blue and light blue Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Yeah, that's real.
Mm. Yeah, yeah. Just man, it's so crazy, you know, homie. So crazy, man. Oh, goodness. I just, man, I done lost so many homies that I love, homie. Good, good brothers, man. Lot, man. All over bullshit, man. Crazy how you, you know what I'm saying? You, a homie will be here today, and then you, he's gone no more. You never see him no more again in life. That's crazy, man. Go to this gangbang shit, man. Hell yeah, I wish my homie, I wish my homies was here, man. Huh? <laughs> We're a twin with this crazy ass, huh? Turtle motherfucking ass, big J dog, big Raider. Come on, man. Whole lot of homies, man. Lil Weebo. Come on, man. Spody sale, man, I could only imagine having a cut and parlor in I don't know what you're saying. Somebody acting a damn fool out in the parking lot. Kelly boy said, do you remember the old donut truck with the shelf? Come on, man. You know I remember that donut truck with the shelves in the back, roll up and they pull them motherfuckers out? Hell yeah. That was what. Where else was we going to get donuts at? Only other place was Winchell's. That was the only other place back in the day was Winchell's. Claudette said, thank you for a great live, sharing the stories with such authenticity and, and becoming a great man you are. Man, thank you too, Claudette. I appreciate you. For real. James Cass said, if I only had 86 viewer Regal, sold that a long time ago, looking to buy 72 for preschool. Lewis Brooks said, one thing for sure, there is a, a lot of hoods in Compton at war right now. Yeah, see, careful, gangster, for real. Yeah, I know it is. Yeah, it's a lot of hoods in Compton at war, huh? They know I'm not a part of that shit, but I ain't no fool. I don't think I'm no Superman. I ain't just going to go, you know, where everything shouldn't be, you know? But they all know I love, they know I fuck with everybody. Hey, I'm saying when the next G Riders cookout, you the only one doing that on here. I salute you. Oh yeah, we're gonna have the next one in August, man. We have we we're gonna have more than we're gonna have a party, we're gonna have a dance, and we're gonna we're gonna have a dance that Friday night, and that Sunday we're gonna have a motherfucking cookout. Yeah. Beach boys say, uh, what's the disconnect between LB and the CPT, the cities are so close. Oh, ain't no disconnect now. It used to be a disconnect back in the day. We didn't get along. But shit, I fuck with the homies in Long Beach now. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing but love, baby. Ain't no disconnect as far as I'm concerned. Well, Marcus said the brown donut <laughs> truck. 25 cents big donut. Yeah, they had them big ones. Well, they say also thank you for the work you do with our youth, spreading awareness and teaching growth. Oh yeah, it's going down. Matter of fact, next week I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a podcast on the program, man, for the youth for the uh, Vocational center, man. I'm gonna show y'all the program. I'm gonna read that shit off. So if a lot of you motherfuckers think that, that a motherfucker playing and it is no, this real shit, man. Sometimes you just gotta show them, you know what I'm saying, before they believe. So that's what I'm gonna do. Kelly boy say I'm 44. 
My family can't believe I remember the old donut truck. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's the only way we was going to get some donuts. We ain't knew nothing about nothing else back then. Lewis Brooks said, hey, gangster, is Kel Max still doing this thing on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, Kel Max still doing this thing. James Cass say, I ate a box of uh, 24 donuts once. Then munchies, them munchies had me. Yeah, them munchies had you like a motherfucker. But the good thing is, hey, I'm on probation next month. I got under 30 days, baby. Thank you, Jesus. God willing, baby. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. It's been a long journey on this probation, but it's about to get off. Ten years and six months. Woo, man. I ain't never even been out of, I ain't never been out of jail ten years straight, man. First time in my life. Man. They was out when they threw the cocktail at her and mama out. Yeah, I was out. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I talked about it on here before. Yeah, yeah, I was out. James Cash say, hey, that's what's up. Good to hear, OG. Yeah, hell yeah. Or DL say congratulations. Thank you, homie. Where I'm going first once I get off? I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. But I know I'll be able to go wherever the hell I want to go. <laughs> without, without having to ask. DJ, DJ Boulevard Rod, low, low. Damn, them feds had you on probation for 10 years, 10 years and six months, huh? Yeah. But your boy been your boy been focused. Your boy been straight. You know? I ain't giving them no reason to fuck with me. Cato said, you gang gangster salute, big brother. And you have a lot of work to do, as well as me getting up. You got that right. We got work to put in, huh? DJ Boulevard Rod Lolo say uh I was under the old the old new law where you violate one time and they let you off probation. Man, I wasn't trying to go back to that motherfucker for now. I wasn't under the old new law, but even if I was, I wasn't trying to go back in that bitch. You fuck around and go back in that bitch and catch a hop. <laughs> See it. Louis Lewis Brooks said, Well, can't you only knew how you go to work, mess with the cars, get on your YouTube plus, you got a wife. Man, you got to, to put me up on game, homie. Yeah. Just got to stay focused, baby. They got to be focused. And got to have a mission. Got to have a plan. Raw media group say, I remember that day, free at last. <laughs> That's right, homie. Hey, I'm saying, are you the first or second generation from your hood? I'm second. Well, I'm second, but I'm from first. First, but I'm second. I'm right there. I'm right there up under the homie. Up under the up under the turtle limb. It's like I was I was there with them, but I wasn't there when they started. RDL said the max is 10 years. I did five on probation. It was tough. Now, yeah, the max 10 years, but they scandalous because when they give you that six month halfway house, that shit don't come on your probation. So that's why I'm doing 10 years and six months. I was supposed to be off six months ago. They making me do the six, but from when I got out in the halfway house, you know, it's scandalous. Concrete Wave say, what's up, OG? What was your favorite 
low rider you had, man, shit. I, I didn't have three favorites, man. I got three favorites. I got my Santana. I got my Rag 67. And I got my Rag Black Rag 64. All three of them. Kim Stanley said, yeah, yellow donut truck OG. For sure, for real. Huh? Choo-choo. <laughs> Choo-choo horn for sure. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Stop calling my motherfucking phone. Yeah, without a doubt. Now, I remember that donut truck, boy. And they had some big donuts, like he said. Tacoma in the house. What's up, Tacoma? It's going down. Marquis Bankroll say, uh, Wack 99 pressure on T.I. neck for snitching. Man, I don't give a fuck about none of that dumb shit, homie. None of that dumb shit, man. You know, that shit don't mean nothing to me, homie. So, okay, you snitched. Everybody know you snitched. Look, fuck, I ain't gonna waste my uh, time and my energy talking about some shit everybody already know about a um, nigga that snitched. I ain't know. It ain't, it ain't that serious, man. We got bigger fish to fry, baby. Marquise, we got bigger fish to fry, homie. You know what I'm saying? And that's real. Is white being a low riding? Yep. Mine. <laughs> she in the mind, that's about it. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, man, I just want to thank all y'all for tuning in, man. It was a pleasure, man, coming on and talking with y'all, man. Just to let y'all know how rough road scrams was, homie. It was rough and tough, man. For real, for real, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, don't nobody hang out like they used to on Rosecrans no more, but you know what I'm saying? Back in them, them 70s, 80s, and 90s, yeah, it was a business, homie. You know, it was a business for real, man. They want to say, what you think about the King of Shibby's new music video? Oh, that motherfucker tight for Mac 10? Yeah, yeah, that motherfucker cool, homie. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, Marcus, she thinks she's taking irresistible. She'll never take it by herself. Take it by G rolling, but not by herself. You know what I'm saying? But I want to thank everybody that tuned in, man. Listen, man. On real love and respect, man. I, you know what I'm saying? I thank y'all because y'all ain't have to be here with me tonight. Y'all could have been anywhere, homie, but y'all chose, you know what I'm saying, to give me y'all time, homie. You know, I know everybody's time is precious, on. And I appreciate it. And I ain't got nothing but love for y'all, man. Nothing but love and respect, homie. You know what I'm saying? Without a doubt. And like I always say, homie, ain't nobody gonna come help us, homie. We got to do this shit by ourselves, man. Like I said earlier, man, if you wanna be fake, you wanna be fake, that's you. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna be fake, that's on you, homie. But this G-Rider movement is real, man. You know what I'm saying? For some kind of way, we're going to make this shit happen with, with you or without you. You know what I'm saying? And for the ones that's with it, I know who with it and I know who ain't been with it. I know who faking and who ain't been faking, man. I got eyes I can see. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, homie, this is about us, homie. This is about bettering us. This is about helping our kids, our grandkids, our great-great-grandkids. You know what I'm saying? You know, so why wouldn't you be with it? You know, y'all with all that dumb shit? You know, be with some real shit, man. Leave your mark on this motherfucking planet, man. Doing positive shit, man. And that's real. Leave your mark doing some positive shit, man. You know? When you know better, you got to do better, man. Just like I say, ain't nobody coming to help us, homie. If we don't do this, we done. Stick us with a fork, homie. We ain't gonna, if we don't do this shit the right way, homie, we ain't gonna never recover, homie. That's real. We ain't gonna never recover from this shit. We will never recover, homie. 
in the world. And that's real, man. Hey, you know better, you gotta do better. Look at that black rag four right there. Kill it. Kill it. Huh. Man, you know better, you gotta do better, man. You know what I'm saying? This your boy OG and TTV. Gangster coming straight out of Compton, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, when you know better, you gotta do better, man. Oh yeah, you know, like AM say, you gotta get that life insurance if you're in the streets. And even, even if you ain't in the streets, you gotta get it, man. Don't listen, man. Everybody, listen to this, man. Don't leave that burden on your family to bury you, homie. That's a fucking burden, man. How much you think they make at them car washes, homie? They can be out there all motherfucking day. They might make five hundred dollars if that, that's on a good day. To get cremated is over ten thousand. That little five hundred ain't finna do nothing. Man, don't leave your people like that, man. Go get your life insurance, homie. You know what I'm saying? That's real. You're getting high, you're drinking, you're taking pills, whatever you're doing. That's your life. But you use some of that money, homie, to get you some life insurance. You know what I'm saying? That way you can be taken care of, man. When you, you can be buried properly. And you can probably leave your kids a couple of dollars, man. The boy OG Gangster, man. Love y'all, man. Power to the people, baby. You know what I'm saying? G Riders for life, man. I'm up out of this motherfucking BI, man. This business. I'm gone. Like Santone.